Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to go on and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, rule with them, and great up to the young brothers and the truth. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. And this is a little article on, um, I just seen it a few minutes ago. And it's July 14th, it was dated July 14th. 2020 year prophecy and that's the day and say he's gone for black supremacy nick cannon blasted for saying white people are a little less and closer to animals you know <laughs> and nick cannon hey i guess nick Ch cannon woke man but you know nick cannon nick cannon a lot of like like the apostles and the elders say man and the rest of the Akim be always saying, man, these devils, they watch us, man. You know, two-thirds of our people, they know we the Israelites. And if they don't know, they finna soon find out, man, that they the Israelites, that they are the Lord's chosen people. But that don't mean they're going to be saved, man. You know, because the scriptures say it's hard for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. This guy going to have to give up his riches, man. You know, he going to have to turn from all these things and he going to do that. Highly doubt it, man. But, hey, man, we need all the publicity we can get, all the things that make people start searching things up, man. All that's going to gonna lead, you know, to more people turning to Google and, and getting on YouTube and searching Hebrew Israelites, you know. And yeah, that's going to lead to more people coming into the truth, man, you know, inquiring uh, uh, from the men of the Lord. Um, about the Lord, man. You know, we're going to continue to teach them, man, until the time that the elect is sealed. And it's true what he said. It say white people are a are a little less and closer to animals. And they, they are beneath animals, man. You know? <clears throat> Matter of fact, let's get it. Because if you go into it, man, Esau is... Esau is 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 um Cain reincarnated. I mean the serpent reincarnated. And Cain. Let me get it. You know. So Esau is is beneath all the, the creatures that creepeth <laughs> and, and every damn thing gives. That that the Lord created. Oh, cattle. Now this in Genesis. You know, cause um, matter of fact, we gonna get it. This um Genesis chapter three and verse. Um, 13 it say and Yahweh said unto the woman that that uh, what is what is this thou hast done and the woman and, and this um, Yahweh talking to um, Eve and the woman said the serpent beguiled me he did eat um, beguiled me and I did eat and Yahweh said unto the serpent because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, man. And above every beast of the field, upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. You know, and that dust going to represent confusion, man. You know, confusion, a low state. You know, and that's what these devils it, man. You know, in a low state. <clears throat> You know, but they, they are humans, you know, but they <laughs> they are very, very cursed, man. You know, because the Lord is not going to have mercy on him, on these devils when he's done with them, man. You know, they will be eradicated, man. It's not going to be a such thing as so-called white person, you know, which biblically is named Edom, man. You know, matter of fact, let's get another one proven. That these devils go back to eat them in Revelation. Let 
Revelation chapter 12. Let's see where it goes. You know, because if you read farther into that story, go into the woman and that serpent, you know, because parts of that story in Genesis is talking about the nation of Israel. When they go into the woman, like, matter of fact, I might go back to it. I go back to it. It say uh, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 13. It say, and when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman, and the woman is Israel, which brought forth the man child. And that's also talking about um, Mary and how was child, you know. It say, and, and to the woman were, were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly unto the wilderness, unto her place where she is nourished for a time, a time, and a half of t a time for, from the face of the serpent. And the serpent cast out his um, mouth. That ain't what I'm looking for. That ain't what I'm looking for. So lucky. This is what I'm looking for. Verse seven, it say, it say, and there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon and his angel, and the dragon fought in his angels. You notice know, Esau and his fighter jets fought against the angels, man. You know the dragon represents um that beast, man, that fourth beast that rose up, man. Esau's um Esau basically, you know, that dragon is these Edomite infrastructure, man. All they king all the kingdoms, all the armies, you know, <clears throat> with um with Esau controlling, you know. They're gonna fight against the angels, man. You know. Fighter jets against UFOs, man. So called UFOs, man. C O Fs, man. I mean C O L, you know, chairs of the Lord. It say, and prevail not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent, you know, going back that old serpent from where? From the garden. Called the devil, you know, the deceiver, and Satan. Why Satan? Devil going into the deceiver and Satan going into the adversary, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out unto the earth, and his angels were cast out with him, man. You know, because, hey, when the Lord returned, these devils are going to be cast out, man. You know, and, and when did they deceive the whole world? During the time of the Renaissance, Renaissance period, man. You know, let's go get that, man. Now, this is going way left, man. It's a lock here. This, I swear, this lesson going way somewhere else, but it's the spirit, man, you know. This Revelation chapter 20 and verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having a key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is called the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. And when did this happen, man? During a time of 300 up in that area A.D. when the so-called Negroes, um... Um, basically came in power in the Roman Empire and it was went from the pagan Roman Empire to the Holy Roman Empire, man. You know, Esau was ran off into um, the Caucasus Mountains, man, and put into captivity, man, during that time. You know, the ones that didn't escape, man. You know? And <clears throat> they're going back, you know, them deceiving the whole world. You know, cause they was um. Matter of fact, it say he lay hold on the on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. You know, and he was bound from three hundred some A.D. all the way to the thirteen hundreds, man. Um, when he came back into power through the Borgia, started coming back, rising back into power through the Borgia family, man. You know, the first crime family. 
and say and, and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And when was those thousand years fulfilled? During the Renaissance era, man, when he came back up, man. And after that, he must be loose a little season. And we in the little at the end of the little season, man. Right now, man. You know, but that's it on it. And that's that's pretty much the point. You know. That's pretty much the point. I ain't gonna go back in that Genesis. You can read. The, matter of fact, I go back there. So lock it. Genesis three. I want to see. And it's the point in Genesis 3 and verse 15 and say, I will put in enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her. Matter of fact, let me go back to 14. Cause it, well, matter of fact, I'm going to start back at 13 because I, I got to make it make sense. So lock you. It say, and Yahweh said unto the woman, what is this that thou hast done? Now he talking to Eve. You know, Adam and Eve, he talking to Eve. And the woman said, the serpent beguiled me. And he did eat. And Yahweh power said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. You know, we know this ain't talking about a literal serpent, because serpents don't eat dirt. They eat animals and rats and rabbits and shit like that, man. You know. Verse 15, it say, I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. So they go to show you that the serpent was an actual person because those two seeds are enmity. And if you go into it, man, you know, we not going to go into it because that'll, that'll be a whole nother lesson. Really, you know, the seed of the serpent is going into, you know, it, it went to Cain, you know. Cain and Abel, you know, and the seed of the woman was um, basically Abel. And and the woman don't have seed, but but it's going into the woman is talking about Israel, you know, like I was saying, you know, the nation of Israel and the, and the serpent seed is Esau. You know, you go into Jacob and Esau. Jacob had 12 sons and Esau, <clears throat> the Edomites, you know, it was enmity, enmity between them in the womb. Why? Because it go back to the serpent, man. You know, it go way back to the beginning, man. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. You know, when you go into the story about Jacob and Esau, what did it say, man? You know, and, and <laughs> this lesson went all the way left, but it is just the spirit, man. You know. This Genesis chapter 25 in verse uh, 26, and it say, and after, and where well, I started 25, it say, and first came out, matter of fact, no, I won't, I started 23, it say, and Yahweh said to, unto her, 22, it say, and the children struggled within her, and she said, if it be so, why am I this? And she inquired of Yahweh. And Yahweh said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. They're going back to their enmity by them struggling in the womb with her, man. Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, their enmity, man. And the one shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment and they called his name Esau and after that came his brother out and his hand took hold the heel of Esau you know going back to they gonna bruise our head but we gonna bruise their heel you know they say it's like it. took hold the heel of Esau 
I mean, took hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. You know, just going into that point <clears throat> where it say um in verse fifteen to say, and I will put enmity between thee. And the woman in between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel, man. You know, and 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 that bruising thy head, you know, cause hey, he saw the one that put the um the Lord to death, man, and he is our head, man. You know, and they put us in the captivity. They just, you know, <laughs> uh, what the Lord say, the whole head is sick, man. You know, they just um, did all manner of wickedness unto us, man. You know, destroyed, polluted us, you know, destroyed the Lord's chosen people, man. But we uh, they will be brought down, man, you know. But let's get back into this article. It say he, let me reread it on Nick Cannon, say he has gone full uh, black supremacy. Nick Cannon blasted for saying white people are a little less and closer to animals. So lucky, I gotta sneeze. So lucky. <laughs> so lucky. It's a TV host. Nick Cannon is facing accusations of anti-Semitism and racism following a bizarre and now viral. <laughs> interview in which he um claims white people are a little less and, and black people are a little less and black people are who Jewish people want to be <clears throat> oh so lucky yeah and I'm um uh, I got a scripture Cause that is who they want to be, man. This um no, it's lucky. I ain't press search. You know, you know, Revelation chapter three and verse nine. It say, <clears throat> "Behold, I will make them the synagogue of Satan." Let me go to two. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9, it say, I know thy works and thy tribulation and thy poverty, but thou art rich. You know, the Israelites are rich, man, especially the, and first and foremost, the elect, because they have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of how about Shem, how was shy, and that's a treasure. And I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogues of Satan. You know, and, and, and these devils are um, trying to be us, man. You know, and they say during the discussion with former public enemy member Richard Griffin, who left the group after saying the Jews are wicked. Yeah, those so-called gutter rats over there in the land, they are wicked, man. You know, according to the way, well, because they are Edomites, they are the wicked man that the Bible speak of, you know. In a 1989 interview, and and them same Jews, they run they run everything, man. They have you know they run the mu the music industry, man, in the in Hollywood, man. So called Jews run all this stuff, man. You know, <clears throat> Cannon, who hosts the Masked Singer, claim it is impossible for him to be anti. Semitic, it's never hate speech. You can't, and it don't be hate speech, man. When when somebody tell the truth, that's why the scriptures say, "Have I become um Galatians four and sixteen? I want to say, you know, um, uh, have am I become your enemy because I tell you the truth, man? You know, but they label the truth hate speech. It say, it's never hate speech. And this um. I guess Nick Cannon speak, and it says it's never hate speech. You can be anti, you you can't be anti-Semitic, 
And the word is not Semitic, it's Shemitic, man. Our progenitor was Shem, man. Not Sim, ain't nobody named Sim, man. When when we are Semitic people, you know, so Nick Cannon, you know he listening to the Israelites, man. Talking about it, 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 it ain't, you can't be anti-Semitic when, you, when we are Semitic people. He said, when we are the same people who they want to be, you know, so he, he listening, man. You know, he listening to the truth. <clears throat> he said, when, oh, Salaki, that's our birthright. <laughs> oh, man. You know, and, and you go into it, man. Just to prove he, he listening, man. You go into the blessing um, of Esau, what Esau said, man. We stole his birthright. Let's get it real quick. You know, go to show you that he be watching, man. And, you know, and, and how I look at it, all these jakes who come out, who in this music and, and, and high up in society coming out with these, um, you know, talking and just coming up with shit. Man, they, they, they set up to do these things, man. I could be wrong sometimes, but hey, it is what it is. That's just my, you know, me speaking as a man. You want me to speak what I think? That's what I thought. You know, that's what I think. So like you. I can try to find the point. And and at the end of the day, it's our birthright because Esau sold his birthright, man, for a morsel of meat. You know? But damn, I can't even find the scripture. I'm finna find it, so like it. This this Genesis chapter twenty seven and verse thirty six it say and and he is and he said is not he rightfully is not he rightly named Jacob because Jacob means surplanter for he have surplanted me these two times he took away my birthright and behold now have taken away my blessing. And he said, has thou not reserved a blessing for me? You know, and, and we didn't take take your birthright, you fucking demon. You know. You damn devil. We ain't take a damn thing. Let's get it, man. Let's prove prove all things. This Genesis chapter 20, uh, 25, and I'm going to start at 30. It's saying Esau said, matter of fact, I started 29, and Jacob saw a pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. 
and you go in that word Edom, it means red. And Jacob said, sell me this day, sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do me? And Jacob said, swear to me this day. And he swore unto him and sold his birthright, man. You know, so this devil sold his birthright, man. We, we, we took shit, man. You know, Esau sold his birthright, man. You know, let's get another one, man. I wish I had my Bible. So lucky I got a, got a, got a, I think I got a little in Hebrews. We'll see. Just search it up instead of trying to find it. This Hebrews chapter twelve. In verse 16, or, yeah, 16, it say, least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. You know, so this devil sold his birthright for one morsel of meat, man. One little piece of damn pot of meat, man. I mean, bowl of meat, man. You know, this guy sold his fucking birthright, man. You know. Go on, let me get another one. Yeah, one more. Let's see. This um Ecclesiasticus chapter ten and verse nine. It say, "Why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such as one who sitteth and sitteth sitteth his own soul to sell, because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels." You know, because, hey, Esau, when he sold his birthright, he basically sold his soul, man. You know? And this devil proud, man. You know, but, <laughs> hey, like he say, man, this devil, it, it's I, like um, Nick Cannon say, this is that's our birthright, and it is, because he sold it to us, man. He later ins insisted again that he is not promoting hate speech, you know? And, and who cares, man? You know, if you say we promote hate speech, guess what, man? The Lord hates, man. And we do hate you, devils. All the stuff you put us through, man. You know, all the atrocities you, you done unto us, man. Every so-called damn, most of them slave ships that were owned, man, they were owned by so-called Jews, man. You know, the wicked that the Bible speak of, Amalek, man. You Amalekites, man. You know, <laughs> those slave ships when we came over here in captivity, man, fuck you people, man. You know, and and, and you cry and, and, and beg and, and, and complain, you know, like you ain't getting a fair shake, man. You know, you devils, you devils gonna pay, man. 
Oh, and that's this the video. <laughs> that's the video. One of the brothers did a video on it. Oh, um, the elder from Texas, Dallas, you know, did a video on this when he asked. <laughs> then let's go. Let's let's go to what it really is. Then when we talk about the power of melanated people, when we talk mm -hmm. about who we really are as guys, and, and right. understanding that our melanin is so. Powerful. See, they be they be trying to say you know, but they be holding back. You know, there ain't no melanin. Man, we ain't no melanin. Hey man, we are the Hebrew Israelites, man. That the Bible speak of, man. You know, talking about melanated people, man. There ain't nothing special about no melanin besides goddamn you can withstand the sun. There's a lot of melanated people. Of the, of the heathen nations, man. But guess what? The Lord say they are nothing, man. But be like unto spittle and as a drop that follow from a vessel, man. You know? So that man, you can be melanated, but the Lord still hates you, man. The Africans are melanated. They not special, man. You know? Or in a, it connects us in a way that the reason why they fear black, the reason why they fear is because they the lack that they have. Of yeah, Esau don't fear black man. Esau fear fear um uh, the elect of Israel man. Esau fear you know Yahweh Shai raising up his men and they're and they're being a uh uh us waking up. That's what Esau fear. He don't fear you niggas man. Who, um, who 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 thank you deep and, and, and don't know shit long as you in a confused state talking about melanated people and you ain't calling on the true name of your high by shim you have shot Esau don't fear that man you know matter of fact let's get it man let's 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 show what's gonna make what's gonna make this devil fear man Let's get what what what's what this devil fears, man. This on um, wisdom of Solomon, chapter five and verse one, it say, "Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as had afflicted him." And who are the righteous men? You know the, those men out on the highways and hedges who pushing your how about them? You how shy teaching his word in sincerity and truth. And great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. When they see it, when they see this, what? The men out on the highways and the byways with the truth and the true name, man. Calling upon their power, man. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. That's what they fear, man. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for, man. Why? Because we're going to be beamed up into so-called UFOs, man. You know? But that's that's what they fear, man. Us standing on our feet, <laughs> you know? Matter of fact, let me get another one. You know? <clears throat> Another one in the New Testament, Re Revelation chapter um, uh, 11 and verse 11. And it reads, and after three days and a half, what's those three days and a half? 350 years from from 1619, roughly paraphrase 1619 to um, um, 1969. That's that three days and a half. It say, and after three days and a half, <clears throat> the um, uh, uh, let me start from the beginning. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Yahweh entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them, man. You know, so that's where the fear coming from. The men who out on highways and hedges, they don't fear um Nick Cannon, man. You know, this nigga on, on got wild and night and all that old other bull just TV show. Man, Esau don't fear that, man. 
So like, I'm getting sleepy. You saw I don't fear um, you niggas who sold out already, man. You not a threat, man. We the threat, man. You know, Esau cut your money off. He got you. You're going to be begging and pleading, saying you sorry, man. Wishing to meet with um damn so-called Jewish people or whatever, man. Like this one nigga who play football, man. You know? So then when you see what, you know, Dr. Uh, Francis C. Wellesling talked about is that fear in that 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 uh, just genetic that annihilation efficiency mm-hmm. of when you have a person that has ha- has the lack of pigment the right. lack of melanin right that they know that they will be annihilated so therefore however they got the power they 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 have the lack of compassion and they got the power to through you how about show me how was that man you know and why do they lack melanin man going back to cain man the lord say he gonna set a mark upon cain man and Cain came back as Esau, man, with that same mark, man. That's why um the Lord called Esau name um Esau, man. And you go into that in the Hebrew as Ishashua, man. Wasted away, man. You know, wasted away is he, man. <clears throat> that mel- melanin comes with compassion. Melanin comes with soul that mm-hmm. we call it. We call it soul. We soul brothers and sisters. That's the melanin that connects us. Right. So the people that don't have it have our are a little and, and I'm, melanin don't connect us man the spirit of you how about shimmy how shy connect the elect man that's that's what's wrong with these niggas man these niggas done man say this carefully <laughs> man, i ain't noticed what are they was talking a about a little but. less and and, mm-hmm. and and where the term actually comes from because i'm bringing it all the way back around okay. to, to me and, 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 and it don't it don't matter man the spirit connects us man what the scriptures say the spirit bear witness with our spirit that uh, we are the um, children of the most high, man. So you can be white, you can be black, you can be Asian, or uh, look like, uh, you can be so-called these people. And and if your spirit bear witness, guess what, man? You're an Israelite, man. You know? If you can believe in 100% truth, man, doctrine, man, the whole doctrine, you're an Israelite. It don't matter what you look like, man. We ain't connected through no fucking melon, man. You know, because you can have a black-ass Hamite come up and, and don't fucking get it, man. With a damn ox, a ox goddamn bones through the bottom of his lip and shit, man. Melon don't connect us, man. The spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai connect us, man. Our father, man, Yahweh, man. You know? Paracon, to where they may not have the compassion or the the when they were sent to the mountains of caucasus when they when they didn't have the power of the sun that was that the sun then started to deteriorate mm-hmm. them so then they're acting out of fear they're acting out of low self-esteem they're acting out of a, a and, and they y'all niggas are the ones with the low self-esteem jake trying to be esau man jake envy esau man you know jake live his life to to um <laughs> to try to catch up with esau and shit man you know instead of turning back to who he really is and coming back to you how about show me how shy Guess what? He chased the bag and chased carnal um, um, victories, man. And he gonna lose, man. The Lord is gonna get rid of these niggas, man. Efficiency. Mm-hmm. So therefore, the only way that they can act is evil. The only way they can, they, they have to rob, steal, rape, kill, and steal fight or flight. And, okay. or, and that's what the scriptures say. The, he coming not but to steal, kill, and destroy, man. You eat them, that's how you coming, man. You know? But Jake, ye are of your father the devil, man. You know, you niggas sell your own soul and, and sell out to this man. And then <laughs> now you got them, he done got you rich, he can gave you a few crumbs. And, 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 and now you acting like as if you, you against them all of a sudden. No, man, you niggas all got them bought and paid for, man. You saw on you niggas, man order to survive exactly so then these people who didn't have what we had and when i say we i speak of the mm-hmm. melanated people right they had to see this melanated shit man every nation has melon man you know 
<laughs> all the nations have melon, man. But guess what? The Lord only dealing with the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And it's also Israelites scattered among all nations. You know, but as a whole, you got the whole, uh, what, what, it, what it say about um, Ham? He was the progenitor of the dark races, man. You know, then you got Japheth. They melanated, you know. Moab and Ammon, you know, some of them are, are, are darker skin, you know. So and the Arabs, you know, they melanated people. So what the fuck you talking about, Jake? You don't know. Savages. They had to be barbaric. They had because they're in these Nordic mountains. They're in these rough uh, torrential environments, mm. so they they're acting as animals. Right. So they're the ones that are actually closer to animals. They're the ones that are actually the true savages. And then they built up such this this. Oh, no, that's the point. They was talking because they are they are true savages, man. They the devil that the Bible speak of, man. Say warrior, but they built up such this 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 conquering mm -hmm. uh name build up a damn thing they blessing was the sword man do we need to get it no we ain't gonna get it but if you go to genesis chapter 27 and 39 what the lord say and by the sword shalt thou live man and i'm gonna give you the fatness of the earth man what it say job 9 and 24 um the earth is given into the hands of the wicked man esau ain't come up with no elaborate plan to take down the Israelites and do no special. No, man, this nigga, all he did was got his temporary blessing, man. You know? Barbaric mentality. It's a... It's a... Um, Cannon and Griff also spoke about various conspiracy theories regarding Jewish power in the global banking industry and there was even praise for Louis Farrakhan, who was a fucking cool one. He bought and paid for, you know, set up, uh, control. Uh, he controlled. <clears throat> a politician, activist, and preacher with a long history of statements deemed anti-Semitic, man. Raising even more eyebrows on social media, their canon words media were Cannon's words about white people. A clip from the interview shows Cannon discussing how white people are a little less and closer to animals due to due to the pigment of their skin. And and they are lower than animals, man, because animals have pigment. Animals can even you know, the sun is against Esau, man. The sun is not against the animals, man. The sun is not against, the, you know, the different creatures that the Lord created, man. It's only against these Edomites, man, because of their lack of pigment, man. That nation of people, man. But, you know, like I said, man, you got Israelites who are scattered amongst the so-called Edomites, man, who look like Edomites. But they are uh, most definitely Israelites who don't have, who, who um, has a lack of pigment, man. You know, so it, it's the spirit, man, that quick enough, the flesh profit of nothing. They say white people, according to, um, he continued, white people, according to canon, do not have the power of the sun, you know, because the sun give you vitamin D, the, the sun heal you, man. They say, and are acting out of Def, uh, def, 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 I don't know. Defensy, def, 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 deficiency, yeah, deficiency in their fear of black people. Cannon has earned plenty of criticism thanks to the um, resurfaced interview, which was originally released last last summer but re, uh, reposted to Cannon's YouTube page on June 30th with with him 
being blasted online as a black supremacist. You know, and white supremacists have reigned all throughout the earth, and they talking about <laughs> he deemed a black supremacist. And you got this Edomite hollering about some. And you got Jake even talking. Jake done, man. Let me read some of these comments. This Adam Four it say Nick Cannon say white people are a little less now this probably a Jake. It's a uh, little less closer to animals, the true savages, acting out the uh deficiency so the only way they can act is evil. When does he get counseled? <laughs> so they 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 call for him to get counsel. Hey, like the scriptures say. Well, um, <laughs> matter of fact, let me get that one because hey, it's coming up too much, man. See Nick Cannon jumping off in some water, man. You better know how to swim, man. You know. Better know how to swim, man. This uh, Galatians 4 and 16, you know. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Now, all these people probably fans, but guess what? <laughs> they become his enemy, and he telling the damn truth besides the melanated part. But some of the shit he's saying is, is factual, man. You know. Zuby, whatever you say, yikes. Nick Cannon is gone full black supremacy, and this is clearly a Jake. You know, this is 100% certified racism. Matt, whatever, Walsh, Walsh. It say this is a really great example of racism. Racism actually sounds like it. The word is m misused. So often that you can you can forget what it actually means. Luckily, the bigot at Nick Cannon is here to demonstrate. Now, Esau can go around calling people niggas, wetbacks, ragheads, or oh, <laughs> uh, cheeky eyes. Esau got them talk shit about everybody, but goddamn niggas run to this nigga defense when somebody bring out truth about this guy, man. What's wrong? Hey, man, you know, and it's the devil saying it. But, hey, man, you niggas rape, rob, pillage, destroy, bomb, drop. You niggas drop bombs on whole goddamn city kids and everything. <laughs> And, and call a motherfucker racist, man. You know, and this whole fucking society is built off pure racism, man. You rule the earth in, in, in pure wickedness, man. You know? And, and you want to call somebody racist, man. Nigga, these devils was just lynching you 60 years ago, man. You know, still lynching you today, but on the big road, I'm talking about having picnics, man. Calling you animals and shit, man. You know, saying no dogs with posters and saying no dogs, Negroes, and Mexicans allowed, man. You know, calling you three-fifths of a man. But you run into his age, especially you jakes, man. That's why the Lord is going to be justified when he come through whacking shit, man. And this clearly is a devil. It's a the Nick Cannon um, Professor Griff interview as 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 wild. According to them, white people are more barbaric than black due to low melanin. Also, we don't feel love as deeply due to melanin content of our skin. I laugh pretty hard. I don't want him counseled. Found it funny, you know, and it's just the devil, you know. And he going into the devil going into captivity, man. And and, and Nick Cannon them they they do be sounding stupid, but he was bringing out some factual points in that, man. 
you know, it say Nick Cannon responded to the outrage of um, in an interview with uh, Fast Company claiming he wants to be corrected if he is wrong, but he refused to apologize. You can say sorry in as many different languages as you want to, and it means nothing, he said. As for his um, praise of Farrakhan, Cannon say he refused to be held responsible for anything the religious leader said <clears throat> and can only take responsibility for his own words. They say, I can't be responsible for however long um, for for however long Minister Farrakhan has been um, ministering and ministering and things that he said, the rapper said, that is his voice in his fight. I can only be held accountable for what I've seen and what I've heard, you know. <clears throat> And that's pretty much it, man. You know, that's the end of that article, man. You know, but at the end of the day, our people are through. And Minister Farrakhan, this nigga, this nigga is 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 not a prophet or nobody raised up, man. You know, this nigga is 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 set up by Esau, and he is a puppet, man. He don't teach you the the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shat, man. He don't teach you that you are the Israelites, man. What he teach you, man? Islam, man. one nation. Uh, the Islamic, man, Muslim, man, we not Muslims, we are the Israelites, man, and all those people that's worshiping stone, you know, are gonna be put to death, man, you know, <laughs> so like but that's pretty much it, man, you know, I've been going long enough with that, I want to get all and then glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekaka, that's double honor to the apostles, it's a lot, <laughs> and it was a great millstone rule, well, been the greatest of to the young brothers and the true, peace and blessings to the hopeful lit, Lord, and it's edifying to the elect, I want to say, um, Lord, willing it's edifying, Quam Yashallah and Baba Ba, Shalom.